It is the final match of League Little Moors Rocket League tournament of day one. Karagimi is playing again, but this time it's against Nigel, one of the organisers of this tournament. Nigel is also known as Serene Logic. He's also the one that send some of the we play, so massive shout out goes to him. But anyway, let's see who's going to come out on top. It is Nigel's, one of Nigel's first matches um, in this tournament, so let's see what happens in three, two. One, let's get started. Five minutes on the clock. It's starting now. Let's see how's the upper hand this time. It looks like it's playing to Nigel's advantages there. As he tries to make it work, but misses. So it gives Kaigimi the opportunity to score. Kaigimi completely misses the ball there, but tries to defend, but gets in the wrong half. Which creates countless opportunities for Nigel to go on the counter-attack. What a nice save from Karagimi there. His advice to work on his defensive skills has worked and paid dividends. A nice clearance from Nigel. He's now on the counter-attack. Karagimi tries to defend. Can it make it work? Can this be on goal and on point? No, it can't. Nigel missed that aerial there, which gives Karagimi the opportunity. But Nigel defended nicely there, so the aerial didn't matter there. So, they're both on the counter-attack, both trying to get it into the right half of them to score. Nigel has the other hand here. It looks like it's going to be a goal. No, it isn't. Oh, a demolition from Karagimi. There were a few times in this match where they both had countless opportunities to score, but they just missed it. Their positioning, they need to work on a little bit in this match. But it looks like, oh, Nigel just missed it there. Both trying to get as much boost as they possibly can and when they use it most. Karagimi doing some unnecessary flips there, which caused Nigel to score a goal. So it's now 1-0 to Nigel with 3 minutes and 5 seconds left on the clock. So there we go. Oh, Karagimi hit the post. So that was a very good for him. But let's see what Nigel has to make of that. ball was near the boost line, the 100% boost line, which was good for Kai Gimme, so he can use more of his boost, which was starting to run out a little bit. It's now an even playing field. It's now one all at this moment in time. It is all to play for with 2 minutes 38 seconds left. So here we go with Nigel on the counter attack. Karagimi is now on the counter-attack and clears that out of his half. A great opportunity to score. Can it make it work? Yes. It was very, very close for Nigel. He almost had the chance to make a clearance. But Karagimi positioned that very well in order for it to score. So good job for Karagimi there. But Nigel is having none of that, which means makes it 2 all. This is actually proving to be a very exciting match here. Very exciting. Karagimi doing some unnecessary flips, trying to dodge. Dodging, I think, is very important to get the advantage as well and kick off as well. But I'm still learning in Rocket League, so uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you know. So Nigel getting in his half, but Karagimi tries to defend. Nigel getting the necessary boost. Nowhere to be seen from Karagimi, which gave Nigel the advantage to have possession with the ball. And he does it just like that. It is 3-2 to Nigel. So there we go. With 1 minute 40 seconds left on the clock. Let's see who has the other hand here this time. It is Karagimi who tries to get it in his half. Can it make it free all? No, it can't. He yeah, is clearance of his own half, which was, you know, not good. Which gave Nigel the advantage. 
Try give me trying to do an aerial there. He got the boost to try and clear it, and he clears it very nicely for Nigel. Nigel now has the ball, tries to get possession, tries to defend from Karagimi. Because Karagimi cleared it there, Nigel was trying to get the ball to his half. That was very lucky for Nigel there. Karagimi almost had it in shot, had a send ball in shot there. So throughout this match, Karagimi had loads of opportunities to score. Just like that, it is now 3-0. So this could be one of the first matches where it goes into overtime. I can't wait. This is going to be fun. But let's see what happens. So what were your predictions of this match? Let us know in the comments below. A save from Kari Gimme there, which was absolutely fantastic. No. But it didn't, the attack did, didn't work for him and it caused Nigel to score some goals. 25 seconds left on the clock. Luckily, neither of them rage quitted, so we're proving to go to the end of this match. So, Kari Gimi needs to score one more goal in order to stand a chance of winning this match. Nice appearance from Kari Gimi. But Nigel is now on the attack. Kari Gimi needs to have good, impeccable defenses and attack skills. But it looks like Nigel is going to win this match. Yes, he does. So at the end of this match, it's now 4-3 to Nigel. So Nigel gets some points on the board for this. So this is the end of day one. And I do believe Lambrex was on top at the end of day one. So a good job to Lambrex there. So yeah, and I think Bread was second. I, I don't know. I don't have a clue. Um, because it was updated after day two, which we haven't done yet. So make sure you keep an eye on videos of day two coming up soon. There was only two replays. Um, but it's better than nothing. But I will do another video as well, giving you an overview of what happened on day two and the matches and stuff like that. So thank you for listening, everybody, and watching this commentary. And stay tuned for more videos of this Rocket League tournament. Goodbye.